Hi, this is Joel here, and welcome to the advanced video tutorial on electronic throttle valve, or known as ETV mapping, in the Woolwich Racing software for the 2015 onwards Yamaha R1. So hopefully you've watched the basic video, gives you a good introduction on how to make changes to ETVs and why to make changes. So um, what we'll do in this video is we're going to cover the advanced side of things for per gear ETV mapping. So to just per gear. First we go to ETV base map selection. Now up here you have your gears. So zero being neutral, then gears one, three to six. And then you have your ETV base maps here of zero up to three. If you notice here, uh, gear three uses the same base maps right up to gear six. And where it pulls them from is your ETV base map. So we've seen before we had zero, one, two, and three. So currently, base map three uses the same map for gears three to six. Now, why would you want to change it for? Well, with the beauty with the Woolwich Racing software is we can change per gear ETV mapping. So if you're at a racetrack and you're in third gear and you come around a corner and need some fine throttle control, well, you can change now third gear so it would be much finer throttle control, yet still leave fifth and sixth gear the, an, an aggressive throttle. Um, you might even find as well if you're in third gear and it's, uh, it's starting to wheelie on you because um, of the power delivery, um, you can dial that down just in third gear only, but keep fourth, fifth, and sixth gear as as full power. So, how do we make the change as well? First off, we'll go to back to base map selections, and we'll keep uh, third gear is the same. Uh, fourth gear, we'll use base map four. Fifth gear, we'll use base map five. And sixth gear, we'll use base map six. So now we have full control per gear of ETV. So we'll come down here, and um, so now we have the full range here. Neutral. Right up through to six gear. So now we can make a change. Uh, I'll just use this as, as an example. We'll uh, I'll just highlight the group of cells here, and we'll change that to um, fifteen. So just so we may need some fine total control. This is just for reference only, by the way. Um, fourth gear, we may want that. Um, slightly more aggressive, so we'll change that to 20. Fifth gear, we'll change that to 25. And sixth gear, we'll change that to 30. Again. So now we have full control of each gear. And where we can see the changes, if we go back up to ETV here, we didn't touch uh, first gear. So we still have first gear, second gear is the same. Third gear, we've seen those changes we applied. Fourth gear, changed again. Fifth gear, and sixth gear. Now this is a really handy tool as well because um, you can configure each gear for each power mode. So you might find the track conditions might be uh, wet. So we can configure per gear for power mode four. Um, slightly drier in track, we can configure per gear for power mode three. Um, same as power mode one and two, you can have power mode one as, as your most aggressive map for power delivery. And then uh, power mode two, maybe um, adjust your ETV um, so it's not quite as powerful in the top end to stop wheelies all going per gear. So it's a really handy tool that not many people know about. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.